Hey there Archivers fans, it's Meg. I've got some really great new products to share with you from Inky Antics and along with those products go some really cool new techniques that I just have to share with you today. So the first thing I've got is Gamsol. It's a new product again from Inky Antics and this um, it's a really great way to blend colors and shade colors kind of along the same lines as watercolor pencils or Copic markers. So it, it just comes in this little bottle and you get this little stick with it. Um, it's a pressed paper. And so um, we're going to use that to blend and shade our colors. So this, this is a stamp set from Inky Antics. It's the Honey Pop collection. And they come with really great stamps for the outside of your card and for the inside of your card. So this is my little caterpillar, my little inchworm um, that I've stamped already and that's for the outside and then you've got all these sentiments and different pieces to put on the inside of your card too. So let's go ahead and color that in and I'm just using regular old colored pencils. So I'm going to have a green inchworm here. So I'm just going to go ahead and color a little bit around the edge of my image and I don't have to color the whole thing because I'm going to use the Gamsol to shade some of that color throughout my image. So I just take the tip of the stick and I press it right into the Gamsol to kind of load it up and you can add more as you go, it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to start in the white part and I'm just going to kind of swirl it around and pull that color away. So I'll go on this side too. Now if your image ends up lighter than you wanted it to be or darker than you wanted it to be, um, you can always add more color, you can keep going. The great thing about Gamsol is it's not going to peel your paper like a water brush might do if you're using watercolor pencils. You can seriously keep adding layers and adding layers and adding layers. So if I wanted this part to be just a little bit darker, I can color over it again and then use my Gamsol to kind of shade, shade that through. Really cool technique, super easy. And then all you need to do with the tip of your stick is take a sanding block, nail file, whatever you've got lying around, and you can just sand that right off and keep going. I could use red on there if I wanted to next. So now that I've got this cute little image colored, I probably should make a card, only makes sense. So the next great product I've got from Inky Antics is the Honey Pot Paper. And this is that really cool honeycomb paper. Hopefully you can see on there. It is super cool and the cards are just amazing. So it gives you a little arrow, kind of your cheat line here, to show which way you need to stamp the image. And then there's all these little guidelines too. Once you're holding the paper, you can really see those. So again with the stamp sets, they all have a piece that are used with the honey pop, the honeycomb paper. So that's what my apple is. And you can see the dotted line is where it's gonna fold open and then the arrow shows which way I have to stamp it on my honey pot paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My apple's already on my block. Just get that good and inked up. And I'm gonna stamp it right along the edge so it's less to cut out and I save some of my paper. So I stamp it right on there and you can kind of see that shows up. And you're not going to see that stamped image on there once you actually have it in your card. So if you didn't stamp it perfectly, it's not a big deal. So then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. It's kind of thick, so if you've got some good strong scissors, it makes it a whole lot easier. So there is my little apple and now to put it into the card it's kind of thick so the best trick we've got for that is to create a spine on our card and that's using the Martha scoreboard it's a great way to create this spine so instead of scoring it once right down the middle like you would with a regular card I scored it twice about an eighth of an inch apart so I get this little spine in there and then my card will lay flat I can mail it flat it's great so all I'm going to do is add some adhesive to my little apple piece. So I can just add that on there. Tape runner works just great for this. So I'm going to stick that right into my card. 
And where that dotted line was that you stamped, that's going to be the part that sticks right in the middle. And then I'm just going to add adhesive to the other side. And then just fold my card over, press it down. And when I open it up, I have a really cute start of an apple. So here is a finished card. And this, you can see the apple in there. We've got the stem at the top and my little caterpillar and a sentiment. And those were also colored in using the Gamsol. So these cards are so cute and it's so new. You got to be the first one to try this and send all these cards to your friends. They'll be just so impressed that you made something this cool. So hopefully you can stop on in soon and grab some new products from Inky Antics and have the coolest cards in town.